You guys already know how much I love Core Essentials. I wear their EDC belts daily. But they sent me their battle belt, and that's what we're reviewing today. Check it out. It holds everything you need. Pistol mags, rifle mags, holster. This is about as close as you ever see me in <laughs> being in full kit. But uh, we're going to see how well we can run this thing. It's not something I do regularly, so it is what it is. But I'm, uh, I'm really excited to try this thing out. It's pretty dang cool. Welcome back to Sawteeth Tactical. If you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, you know how much I love Core Essentials belts. I've got a bunch of them. I wear them daily. These are fantastic belts. Incredible EDC belts. Really good for concealed carry. And they even make ones that just look like nice regular belts, but will support a firearm really well. Well, Core Essentials just sent me something really cool that I'm very excited about. And that is their battle belt, which I believe is kind of new to their lineup. And this thing is awesome. I already had a battle belt that is probably more traditional, more what most people are looking for in a battle belt. But I gotta tell you, after using this, this is what I like in a battle belt. I hope you guys appreciate that I'm out here in the rain today. There is snow on the tops of the mountains, but we generally don't get to keep shooting without being in deep snow this time of year. This has been uh, an interesting fall and it's nice to be able to take advantage of it. Ooh, let's not use that one. So I'm gonna tell you why I like the Core Essentials Battle Belt so much. Now you guys, if you've been following the channel again, you know that I'm not usually out there in full kit. I don't even own a plate carrier. But it is nice to be able to have something on you that holds all your magazines, your holster, everything else while you're at the range. And besides just being at the range, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. You know, a big part of owning firearms is being prepared for that SHTF situation. Well, if something like that happened, I would like to have something that I could throw on real quick and I would have extra magazines and gear on me if I had to go handle a situation. And something like this is kind of ideal for that. And the reason why I like this belt so much, or the many reasons actually I've found out, is a few things. For one, the inner belt, which I'm wearing right now, a lot of battle belts are two parts. You have an inner belt that goes inside your belt loops, and then an outer belt that Velcros onto it. Well, the Core Essentials belt is no different, but they've designed both the inner and the outer belt a little bit differently than most other companies. For one, the inner belt is not quite as big, and so it's easier to fit through your belt loops, and that's nice. I've actually been using it just as a concealed carry belt lately because it's really good for carrying appendix because it doesn't have a big belt buckle in your way like most EDC belts do, and so it makes appendix carry real easy. So that last little bobble there was... I just didn't want to use up my federal HSTs when I've got cheap range plinking ammo out here. Grab the wrong mag, but it is what it is. We'll try that again. <laughs> 
besides the inner belt part of it being so easy to use that I'm actually using it on, on an almost daily basis right now for concealed carry. The outer belt is designed in a way that I like better as well. Most uh, battle belts use like the Cobra buckle, which those are super solid and there is a good reason that people use them. But I love Core Essentials ratcheting system to their belts, their EDC belts. Well, they put that on their battle belt as well. And so it's adjustable in quarter inch increments for size. And the whole thing is adjustable for size and really easy. I took both the inner and the outer belt. They have good directions on how you deal with it. You cut them to exactly your pant size and then you hook the buckle on and you're literally good to go. And <laughs> there's a lot of things I really like about this belt. For one, it's 1.75 inches rather than two and that makes it more compatible with most of my holsters. I don't have some of those battle style holsters, you know, with level two retention and stuff that a lot of people have. It's just not something that I've really gotten into yet. And so when I got my first battle belt, I'm not gonna mention the manufacturer because I think that it's a great belt as well. This one just works better for me. Um, but that first one, I couldn't use with most of my holsters. I actually had to go out and buy a holster to fit on that belt. The holster that I found at my local gun store uh, didn't accommodate a light. And so it wasn't really ideal. Well, this belt fit one of my current holsters for my Smith & Wesson m and It accommodates the light and the optic. In fact, this holster also works with this gun. And so that really, really works well for me. Besides that, it's got the exact same Molly panels as everything else, except for this one's in multicam black. You could choose a lot of different options. I chose the multicam black because I think it looks sexy as hell. But that Molly works with the other accessories I already had, like these mag pouches from Safe Life Defense. They clipped right in just like they did with my other battle belt. My mag for my M&P, my mag pouches for that, mounted right up to it. Everything went on here really, really easily. I gotta say, for someone that doesn't even own a plate carrier but has a lot of guns, having a belt like this where I can have all my mags and everything in one place out here at the range is pretty awesome. And I think it would be a great quick go-to thing in case shit hits the fan at home. So great piece of kit to have. Now what I plan to do, I'm actually pretty excited about this, honestly. And I think I'm gonna plan to do a whole series on properly setting up a good battle belt. And this is something I'm a little bit new to, so you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit, but I'm pretty excited about this one. And I think, at least until maybe I do get a plate carrier sometime in the future, that I would like to set this battle belt up to be my like SHTF go belt for if something bad really happened around here and I had to take some firearms and some gear with me that was quick and easy to do. And when I say quick, it really is. So I'm already wearing the inner belt right now. This just Velcros to it, stick it around and lock it in just like their other belts. And now I've got everything I need on me. I've got my AR mags, my pistol mags, my holster for my firearm. And I am ready to go that quickly with my regular, using the inner belt as my EDC belt, 
All I have to do, Velcro this around, run the ratchet through just like all of my other Core Essentials belts, and I've got a lot of firepower on me. And that's pretty sweet. Bolt didn't lock back on the last round, obviously, but uh, still proves the point. It's just nice to be able to have your stuff right where you need it for those reloads. And then be able to retain them after it too. Pick your mag up. You got it on you. Don't have to worry about losing your mags when you're at the range. You guys know how much I love Core Essentials. This belt is pretty sweet. And besides just being a quick, you know, SHTF kind of go belt, it is awesome at the range as you see in this footage today. Now I did have a little bit of issues with the uh, mag not locking back on the last, or the bolt not locking back on the last round. When I went to do a mag change, I grabbed a mag with my uh, federal H just teasing it that I didn't really want to waste at the range today when I had AAC FMJs to use, things like that, you know, I'm not the most tactical guy in the world, even though the name of the channel is Sawtooth Tactical. I'm a pretty casual shooter, but I do like to shoot a lot. And it is so nice to be at the range and just have everything right there on you. To not have to go back to the truck every time to grab a new magazine or to have to put them in my back pocket in my jeans to do reloads, just to have everything right here. When I drop a mag and do reload, you know, I can pick it back up and retain the magazine in my belt that really is a nice thing it's very convenient for what i do especially filming youtube videos i kind of love it and so i'm guessing that you guys are going to see a lot more of this belt in future videos i haven't ran the binary in a long time this gun does have an echo trigger in it let's see if we can still do that Core Essentials does have, they think about everything as well. So this is an optional item you can get with their battle belt. This part right here hangs the actual, I'm just gonna show you. So it's that easy to get off, which compared to a Cobra buckle, it's very easy. But this clips right on and hangs your belt, which if you have any belts, big gun belts, they're, they're pretty solid and they kind of take up a lot of room. If you can hang it in your closet this easily, that's actually a solution to a real problem. And <laughs> I appreciate that solution. As you can see, I hang all my other core essential belts on their EDC belt hanger. Those little things make a big difference, especially to someone like me. When you collect more and more guns and more and more gear, being able to hang your stuff like that is kind of a big deal. But at the same time, this belt is just made to be easy to use. And that's what I love about it. They didn't sacrifice on, you know, just how solid everything is by any means. This is just as solid as my other battle belt, but it's just easier to use. And to me, that is huge. If it seems like this video is all positive, well, it's because it is. <laughs> and uh, and that's not because I'm shilling for Core Essentials or anything at all. I just really like their products. I've used their products for a long time. When they offered to send me their battle belt, how could I say no? And uh, it's actually much exceeded my expectations. Having previously owned a battle belt and it being something that I felt was a little bit clunky and just a lot to kind of deal with. This doesn't feel that way to me. And that's what I love about Core Essentials is they think about what really will work for their customers and it does work. At least for me, this really works well. I'm not like a full kit tactical kind of guy so much, but something like this where I can put on what I did going to the range today is I wore the inner belt with my concealed carry EDC, my P365, 
on it just like I would normally carry it. And when I got to the range, all I had to do was pull my tier one concealed holster out, wrap the outer belt on, and then I was good to go to film this footage and to shoot with both AR and a handgun extremely easily with everything I needed all in one place. That actually makes my life easier and not more difficult. And so I really appreciate something like that. So I wanna thank Core Essentials for sending this out. This is honestly now one of my new favorite pieces of kit and, uh, and I'm very excited about it. And so I appreciate it. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of battle belts you guys run. Let me know about um, things like plate carriers and stuff too. I'm starting to feel like I do need to get more of that kind of gear. And so I would love to hear you guys' experience with that kind of stuff because I own a lot of firearms, but not a lot of the supporting gear yet at this point. And um, I do see that there are good reasons to have that kind of stuff. So anything that I can learn from you guys is super beneficial to me and to anybody else in the comments. Besides that, if you like this video, please like it. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone that you think might benefit from, from knowing about Core Essentials' new battle belt. And uh, from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.